Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Don Mecca and in today's video, we're going to be checking out something very, very special. It's an epic spaceman video. It's a brand new channel, but incredible visuals, incredible storytelling. I'm excited to check out this video. Ever wonder how big the Milky Way is? There was a time where the Milky Way was considered the whole universe come to find out we find out that it's just a galaxy and there's billions of these galaxies out there <laughs> that's how incredibly big the universe is we're in a freaking huge galaxy in itself luckily our galaxy is gravitationally bound meaning even though the universe is expanding and moving further and further away from everything our galaxy is going to be together for a very long time so it's a scenario where we potentially could go colonize and explore our whole galaxy and it has a huge time clock if you're interested in videos like this that cover various topics that are fascinating, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into the video. Thank you for watching. I live in a city and that means the stars are hard to see and the universe. Yeah, that's the downside of living in a city. All the lights like pollution doesn't give you the opportunity to check out the stars above. There was a time where I went on a trip and I was in a very remote area in Italy and my jaws dropped literally looking up at the stars. It was just completely full of stars and colors. It was just incredible. If you ever get a chance to go somewhere very remote and stargaze, you should do it. The is easy to forget about. Our busy lives and streetlights hide away so much wonder. What is he, Iron Man? <laughs> he's on top <laughs> of the city on some skyscraper. And now he's taking off like with his jet pack shoes. Epic spaceman. Wouldn't it be amazing to just... Oh, is this London? Switch off the lights. Mm -hmm. And connect with... The yes, it looked just like this. Okay, this is real, real. Like if you get to somewhere where it's dark enough and remote enough, you look up at the sky and you see all these vivid colors and all oh, like every corner of the sky just covered and littered with stars. The world beyond our own. That's what I want these videos to be. Little escapes into the universe mm -hmm. that we can all go on, regardless of whether we have clear skies, telescopes, lots of free time. And your amazing visual art skills. Goddamns. We're going to go on a journey into the starry sky above me. A mm. world we can all connect with. But this is not a video about the universe. Because this isn't the universe. Mm. Mm. The Milky Way is just a galaxy. But it might as well be a universe. Not really. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to leave the universe alone, but I'm going to switch one thing off. So that's it, the stars have all gone. I can only see one star in the night sky now. And really, it just looks like a big faint smudge. It's actually the Andromeda Galaxy. Mm, we're about to col collide with this bad boy. Well, not anytime soon in our lifetime, but <laughs> in the future of our galaxy. It's going to probably join and merge with this bad boy. But otherwise, it's just blackness. All of the magic of the night has gone. Imagine a world without stars. The thing I switched off wasn't the universe. It was the Milky Way. Jeez. Jeez. So does that mean that most of the visible stars are all in the Milky Way? Wow. The galaxy we live in. Okay, phew. It's always good when they come back. Mm. So our night sky is actually our galaxy, the Milky Way. Our galaxy is our home, a huge swirling oasis of stars. It's so big and full of everything. It's like a mini universe all on it. Isn't this voice very calming and soothing? <laughs> Zone. Our sun and solar system is about here, a third to a halfway out from the center. To okay, look at that. That's where we are. Hmm. Very interesting. We're in one of these spiral arms very close to it. Depending on how you measure where the edge is. Some people point to the cloudy line across the night sky on a really clear night and call that the Milky Way. That's how I always thought of it. And technically it is. 
but then so is everything else as well. Mm. So it's a little confusing. I think a better way to describe that is the disc of the Milky Way, and we're inside that disc. Mm. If I make the Milky Way two football pitches wide here and tilt. Love the sound effects and the visuals. I gotta keep repeating. <laughs> just a little. Then shuffle it back so it's where we are in the galaxy. If you uh, take a look from my point of view, I'm going to walk to where the Earth is. When I look towards the center of the Milky Way, I can see this cloudy line that stretches across. When I look to the sides, I'm looking away from the galaxy, so there are fewer stars. Mm. So that's what that line is in the sky, okay. the edge of the galaxy that we're inside. And that, that line is sense. brightest looking towards the center of the galaxy. Wow. But look, there's no point in looking at a model of the Milky Way this big. It's not big enough to see the detail. I need to make it bigger. You're going to show us? Epic Spaceman. I'm going to need to make it the diameter of the United States of America. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Imagine uh, you could project such a hologram to that size. What a show would that be? If the center of our galaxy were in Kansas, with VR, I'm sure that's coming. Right in the middle. The solar system would be about here, in the city of Denver in Colorado. In mm. fact, all of the stars that we can see in the night sky would only stretch as far as the city lights of Denver. Can you believe that? All the stars we see in the night sky are only the stretch of lights within the city. So how big would we be? How big is the sun on this huge scale? Well, on a scale where the galaxy we live in is the diameter of America, the sun would be about this big. So that's already completely crazy. Okay, but zoom out, let me see. But it doesn't end there, because I'm not standing on a hill here. On a scale where the Milky Way oh my is the God. size of the United States. Is that skin a or giant something? sun would easily fit between the ridges of the fingerprint oh on my the tips God. of our fingers. <laughs> oh my God. Doesn't that make you feel so, so tiny and insignificant in the grand scheme of things, in the galactic scheme of things? What the f Right? And then imagine life that lives that exists at microscopic levels to us. It would be half the size of a red blood cell. Wow. Our gallic Wow. Half the size of a red blood cell. Half the size of a red blood cell. And that's with just the diameter of the United States as the scale. Oh my Lord. See, it's astonishingly large. I've shrunk myself down 50,000 times to be this size. This is a single grain of sand in comparison. <laughs> Look how huge that is. Harrison. Oh my lord. It's taken me two minutes to walk over to where Earth is. Here. Two minutes walk in that side. Okay. Yeah. One fingerprint ridge away. Here's our little <laughs> blue marble. On this scale, it's three times smaller than the coronavirus. Three times smaller than the coronavirus. Jupiter here was four more ridges away. Mm. Neptune, the last planet, has taken me an hour to walk to. Wow. It's just one centimeter away at the edge of my fingertip. Isn't it crazy but wonderful that if our galaxy were shrunk down to the size of a continent, the orbits of the planets of the solar system would be the swirls on the tip of our finger. <laughs> wow. We're always interested in how big the universe is, but the galaxy... But, but how tiny are we? <laughs> galaxy we live in, the Milky Way, is so wonderfully vast and impressive. Now I know the Milky Way alone is so much to take in. It's natural that it can all seem overwhelming. It can all... Right? It's just... And that's just one galaxy among billions. 
also make us feel a little small and insignificant. Hold up. Let me even correct that. One galaxy amongst the billions of, of the visible universe, right? We, we can't see the edge of the universe. We don't know if there's any edges to the universe. It could go on forever, but we're limited by the speed of light and the expansion of the universe is creating more space in between objects at a, such a rate that it's moving objects apart faster than the speed of light. So more and more stars and galaxies are dropping out of our viewpoint, our visible universe. And we are a little small, but we are also special. Humans are incredibly complex life. We are the first beings we know of with a curiosity and ability to find truth and wonder. Yeah, because, I mean, <laughs> we haven't come across anything else. That makes you just as important as a galaxy. In the words of one of my favorite wonders of the universe, Carl Sagan, mm. we are a way for the universe to know itself. That's, that's a powerful, powerful quote. Imagine we're... Like, you met, the odds are so against this, but say this is the only place in the entire universe life, intelligent life, develops. And we go on to colonize the galaxy and seed all these new planets that we come across with human life. But here's the thing about human life or humanity or, you know, life in our planet. It's, it's, basically, it's basically designed... And if the I keep pressing the space bar, oh my God, it, it's completely designed for evolution, which means it might not even take long before if that ever happens, because, you know, all these planets are going to have varying conditions on them. And that life that that human life that arrives there is going to eventually evolve to adapt to that different environment. So. Who knows? We might end up creating alien life, you know, alien to Earth, right? And that's another interesting concept. It could be a great plot for a movie where some civilization seeds the galaxy, but then encounters its descendants and they're completely different from them. But actually, in the history of that planet, it was them who initially settled there. That'd be a great sci fi movie. Galaxy still feels overwhelming. This might help. We are small, but we're probably a lot bigger than you think. Really? I'd, with just the comparisons you were just making, we were super, super tiny. What? We tend to put ourselves at the bottom of the scale, but that mm -hmm. ignores the universe under our noses. Right. Like I was mentioning, microscopic life too is insane. The world of the small is as vast as the stars, and that is an accurate statement. This yeah. is an electron. It is very small. I've made it bigger here, obviously. It's part of an atom. It's so small it's considered a point, not a sphere. So this oh, is just okay. a crude model of a kind of maximum size of an electron. Mm. With that in mind, in terms of scale, an electron is to a human what a human is to the Milky Way. Mm. In terms of the scale, an electron is to a human what a human is to the Milky Way. Jeez. In incredible to wrap your mind around that too, right? So if you ever feel lost or small when you contemplate the cosmos, just remember that to an electron, you are a galaxy. Mm, what a beautiful spin of that conception after making you feel so small and tiny. <laughs> He reframed the whole perception of this, put it in a whole different light that continues to give you a little, a little emotional um, significance, right? If you enjoyed the videos on my epic... Right. So that was the end of this 
epic spaceman video go check them out it's a pretty new channel looks like there's only a, a handful of videos but if this does well i'm going to check out some more of the videos and you know the link for the channel or this video is in the, the video description if you liked and enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe we're on the march to get to 100 subscriber let's do it we're almost there we're almost halfway there so support your boy and let's get to it if you have any other videos you want to recommend for me to check out with us everybody on this channel make sure you drop it in the comments and let me know i'll go check it out and record a reaction to it thank you for watching i appreciate you i'm don mecca 